Hello and welcome to Morris Park. This is my first YouTube video, so uh, please have some patience with me and uh, I'll show you what I have here. This is my Ficus Benjamina tree. Uh, this tree I got about 15 years ago. Um, it's a memorial tree. It came from my uh, father-in-law's service when he passed away. So we've had it, like I say, about 15 years. About three years ago, this tree froze. Um, my stove in my greenhouse had a malfunction. Um, creosote had built up in my stove pipe cap. Um, I never really looked at the cap so much as I did the pipe. And uh, a plug of the creosote came down and smothered my pipe. It was about three degrees outside. Um, by the time I got to check it, about two o'clock in the morning, it had dropped to 20 degrees inside my greenhouse. Um, effectively, it seemed to have killed the tree. But I thought, well, ficus trees have strong roots, and sometimes they can survive things. So I put the tree in the, on the bench in my greenhouse, watered it as usual, and come springtime, lo and behold, new shoots came up. I babied the tree, decided, well, maybe it needs to be replanted. When I went to replant it, and this is the special thing about this tree, I discovered it had these roots. Now, I know most people say, ah, oh, what's so special about that? We see those in the stores all the time. But on a ficus benjamina, it seems a bit unusual. Now, on ficus retusa, which everybody has seen at a Lowe's or a Walmart or somewhere like that, they grow like this, and they're sold all the time like this. But, never realized that ficus benjamina would do this. When I took it out of the pot, the soil level was about here. And that's almost where it died down to, as you can see, where it was cut off. I took and raised it out of its pot. I washed the roots off with the hose, raised it in the pot and uh, lifted it so you could see the roots and has become quite a unique tree I have a few companion plants here like I say the ficus retusa we have a cryptanthus zonatus just got that not too long ago at a farm and home store I had it the blazing sun but it seemed to have done okay Seropegia woodii it's one of these little plants that grows from the tubers. See the little tubers down there? I'm more of a cactus and succulent guy than anything else. Sansevieria Mikado Fernwood, new, uh, newer hybrid. That seems to be popular. And a Cylindrica, Sansevieria Cylindrica. But as I say, my biggest loves are cactus and succulents. And there'll be more out here in our uh, dog yard as the season progresses. We're still having some pretty bad storms here. Getting a lot of rain, so I can't put a lot of my cacti and succulents out. But anyhow, I just thought I would show you this. Might give you an idea. I'm sure most ficus benjaminas do this. Uh, what a person might do is unpot their tree they're sitting next to right now. Take a look at those roots. They may be knotted up. And if you want a nice little short bonsai looking tree... Chop it on down. Chop it down to there. And it'll grow out like a bush and give you that nice small tree look. Anyway, thanks for watching. Take care. This is Clyde from Morris Park.